Mark. Um, uh, well, I'm a committee member of OPSPA. Uh, I want to hear some ideas from you about how we can uh, basically uh, get over the hurdle that that population uh, has something to do about some uh, racial issues. I mean, Australia is, we love this country because of, of the diversity it is, and we, we want to hold that diversity and, and enrich it. But um, every time we bring up population, we can include my friends, it, it seems like you, know, you hit this barrier that, that you know, almost white Australia policy mm. stuff. Mm. And, and it seems to me that, that, that that's a hindrance we have to overcome, that especially in this debate, because this is not about any racial identities mm. or, or any stereotypes, this is about a whole continent. Uh, it's a, it's a fair point and I've been obviously um, uh, mindful of it and its potential impact in, in relation to what I say and, and what I do. Uh, in, in relation to myself, I uh, uh, bring a, a lifetime of work with uh, non-English speaking background communities and uh, people who I, I represent. Um, uh, yesterday I went to uh, an Italian group and then a, a, a Lebanese group and uh, this, this morning uh, to, to a Greek group and this evening to a, a Muslim women's group so I can assure you that uh, uh, the, the flow of invitations to attend and speak uh, has not dried up in the slightest and uh, uh, it, it's often uh, beyond my capacity to, to respond to it. But in terms of policy responses, uh, I've made clear uh, three things. Uh, one, that I have no designs on the non-discriminatory migration uh, policy. Uh, second, uh, that we should increase our share of overseas aid to meet the United Nations target of 0.7% of gross national income. And third, that we should increase the refugee component. The refugee component is presently 13,750. We should bump that up to 20,000, which is a 45% increase, big increase, but uh, something which can be easily done in the context of a significant cut to the overall program. Now, they are three things which you would never have heard from One Nation, and so I am making, I am making it clear uh, that uh, I, uh, the, the views that I have uh, are not uh, race-related or, or based on any views of that kind, uh, that I regard everybody of equal value irrespective of where they're born and, uh, and where they've, they've come from. Uh, it, is, it is a question of uh, seeking to provide the best possible uh, Australia for uh, ourselves and for future generations. That's what it's about. I think perhaps one more question. Yeah. yeah if you come up here, we'll get it on. Oh, sorry, just quick three quick things. Um, thanks for your courage for speaking out and please continue before they try and shut you down. They will. <laughs> Um, I, I think that the political system has been hijacked by business and it's effectively corrupt because it's about access, money for access. And like I say, there are constantly, and I've seen it from the other side of politics, from the liberal side, but there's people on that side of politics who are sympathetic. And how do we actually convert it? What we know is right here, yeah, this is the, this is the, we've won the argument effectively, but how do we convert it into a political win? As in, and I think the only way that we can probably do it is through a referendum and just keep harping on it. This is too important for to leave it up to politicians who are puppets of um, business. Mm. And I think that's the only way that we can have a, a whole, put a holy grail up there that we can all funnel our efforts towards. What do you think? Mm. Mm. All right. Well, the the, um, uh, the referendum or plebiscite point was. Uh, mentioned earlier, and I've, I've heard it again, and I'm happy to uh, uh, to think about it. As I say, um, I'm I'm all in favour of the democracy, and I, it, it seems to me that uh, a majority of Australians uh, don't want Australia at 35 million. That that's the result of a couple of polls, and it's also the sense I get from all the people who've been contacting me about the issue. So uh, I'm I'm happy to uh, uh, think about a, a referendum and a plebiscite. Um, Spa might want to think about those those things too, and and uh, people who've been in contact with me about it. And it's, so it's something that I'm, I'm happy to put uh, uh, under consideration and, and think about more.